currently in Nashville obviously as you guys can see by the title of this video but I am staying at Jess's house for a couple of days and I'm so excited to be here and I got in last night I didn't vlog I was like the worst at vlogging last night when we got in and I was like I need to vlog tomorrow when we like go into Nashville and do all the stuff that we're doing because I'm gonna want the memories because last time I was here was actually her baby shower, which was in 2021. I came in May of 2021 and I didn't even vlog that trip. We just like hung out. We always forget to vlog when we're together. We just like always just spend time together and are in the moment. So I'm gonna make sure to vlog this trip. It's a short trip because I have to go back to Boston. I have some appointments later this week, but I am excited to be here. And I just got up. We're gonna go head out, grab coffee and stuff like that and drop off Sky. And this is just what I'm wearing, sweats. I'm all comfy this morning and some Uggs. And it's a gloomy day out. It's like gray and rainy, which I really don't mind honestly because I feel like it's been so like hot in Boston. And I'm just kind of like loving the gloomy weather. <laughs> ready right now and I'm basing my outfit around this skims dress and I'm really excited to wear it because I haven't worn it in a while and I want to get the long sleeve one I actually have like one of the long sleeve ones but it has like a weird neckline I don't think I got the right one but since obviously it's a tank top I am gonna be adding a sweater and a jacket I just did my makeup for the first time in so long because I got my laser facial which my face is like finally starting to get like back to normal like my skin because it was peeling for so long so I am excited to like finally have a little bit of makeup on and get ready because I have just felt so like unput together the past few days when I look at myself but it's okay also how cute is Jess's little guest room it reminds me of like being in Europe and it's giving me like Matilda Jerf vibes. I don't know why, but like even look at the bed. It's so cute with the sheets and I just like love everything about it. And she's so cute. She put like fresh flowers in the room. It's so cute. Okay. I am gonna wear this sweater right here, which is from Colt Gaia that I got last year. And I'm so glad. Oh, wait. I think I, I have to go put deodorant on. Actually, I can do it after. <laughs> but I'm so happy that I got this sweater when I did because I was like, this is the type of thing, Colt Gaia, when you see it, their stuff like runs out and gets out of stock so fast. So I was like, I just have to get this. I love their brand and their clothes are such good quality and they always just like fit so nicely. Like look how cute this sweater is. It's like cropped. And it's like the perfect length, perfect material. I do have to wear my hair up because obviously it looks crazy down with the big turtleneck. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I might have to go downstairs in Jess's bathroom and borrow some like hair stuff because my I don't bring anything with me. I haven't like done my hair in so long and I especially like don't really slick it back that much anymore. But 
yeah, then I'm gonna also wear, I have two pairs of earrings actually that I brought with me and I'm not sure which ones I wanna wear, which ones are gonna look good. I'm thinking maybe these chunky hoops right here because I also have these right here which are like a little two-tone pendant and then I have the big chunk. I guess I'm not gonna know until <laughs> I literally put one in each of my ear. And look in the mirror. Okay. I honestly felt like I wanted to wear the chunk, but now that I fully put them on, I'm liking the two-tone earrings because I feel like the silver brings out the cool tones in my sweater. But also I feel like my sweater has like such a mix of warm tones and cool tones. Okay, so then we're gonna do a blazer. This blazer is from the Frankie shop. I'm like really getting dressed up today, you guys. I like never, never get this dressed up ever. And this is the outfit. I'm gonna also throw on a pair of boots. When I get downstairs. But yeah, this is it. So cute. I just love the layers and these colors together. I feel like I really struggle with turtlenecks. I, know, I right? struggle. Sometimes they look like a, um, like a, those neck pillows. I like this one though. Was this for both? Yeah. It's. I think I saw that on the website, but it's sold out now. But it's cute. What is it? Yeah, LBLC. Yeah, I've never even heard of them. Okay, we ready. We ready. We ready, ready. Restoration Hardware. What is it called? Just like cafe? Yeah. Restoration right. Hardware Cafe. And I've never been to one of these before. And I don't know why. Like we just don't have one in Boston. So I'm really excited. We ordered literally everything on the breakfast menu. There was like five things and we ordered all of it. And I'm so excited because our food's starting to get in one that looks so good. And I got an iced coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this bacon. It's so big. It's the thick, thick cut. We just got out of lunch. Guys, it was so good. I can't believe how good the food is there. I was like, you would think that Restoration Hardware or RH Cafe is the type of place. What does that say? Oh my God, I thought that that car right there, the Defender license plate said Buzzy and that's my, that was my papa's nickname, Starting the one that now. passed away. But it doesn't say Buzzy. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, RH Cafe has really good food and you wouldn't think that it would be the type of place that had really good food. I feel like, at first for me, I thought that it was one of those places where you go and it's really aesthetic and cute, but you it's just like normal basic food and it's not anything Turn special. But Drive. next time we go, we have to get lunch since we got all the breakfast. We literally <laughs> But I wanna try the burger. Breakfast. But the, At the light, I don't know if the burger the is two lanes to turn on like to what they're known light. for. I know, but you like, like, I want a burger. I'm like, get this, get this, get this. She goes, I want a burger. <laughs> I was just in the mood because I saw a guy at the airport yesterday eating one and it looked so good, but I wanted to get iced coffee and I feel like and you can't just drink iced breakfast. coffee with a burger. And we haven't eaten yet today. Yeah. And I love having breakfast food, like first thing. Me too. It was really good. 
Did what? you even eat the, uh, the, eggs? the eggs? Yeah, I did a little bit. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm not a big egg girl right now. Like, I'm not really into the eggs that much. It got cold. It wasn't this cold this morning. Yeah, it did. I'm going to take a warm shower. And then we can get um, cozy and get Mexican food later. Yeah. And we need to watch that Lindsay Lohan movie. <laughs> the Christmas so one. <laughs> Okay, I think this is we'll like do a Sephora haul. <laughs> I think this is the third time that I've gone to Sephora to try to get this lip combination and I can't find it anywhere. That one that I Where wanted. Where did you see it on TikTok? Yeah, but the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what it is? That's it's why the fact it's sold that it's out everywhere. It's because it's Fenty. Like I just feel like Fenty stuff is sold out. Yeah, well she just has really good lip stuff. I know. Like remember when that one lip gloss came out and everyone had it? I still use it to this day. It was like Fussy? years ago. This is the Anyways. one, the same one that I wanted, but I wanted a different shade. I wanted my tie or my type or something, but I had to get red, so. Oh. Yeah, but that would be cute for Christmas. The way that the girl, do you have a napkin in here? Uh, yeah, probably in the glove box. Okay, because I'm going to try to do. Wait, check first. There's a diaper. A diaper. Wait, I can use one of these, right? They're probably dried up. Oh. But still, then it's like a napkin. There's tissue. Wet ones, I can't use wet ones. Why? Oh, there's a tissue. No, because I'm going to wipe my mouth. Here, tissue. Oh, perfect. Can I use one? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try this on. Uh-oh, watch your print. <gasps> oh, I thought this was going to get on my dress. Okay. Why is it so dark? You know the sun sets at 4.30. Yeah. What? Why? Isn't that crazy? I hate it. Okay, so for my Sephora haul, I literally got one thing. My favorite concealer in the entire world. NARS Cream Concealer. Madeline. In Madeline. It's an OG. <laughs> That's how pale I am. Normally, I use custard because I like to go lighter than my skin. But then when, in the summertime, I use tiramisu and that's even lighter than my skin. And now I feel like I have really been on my SPF and skincare. And ever since I got that facial with the microneedling, I have been using um what's it vitamin c yeah on your skin and it makes you i swear it makes you glow but it makes you pale yeah because it takes away all the imperfections the, yeah all the imperfections because it evens yeah. out your skin tone so i had so many freckles and now i feel like my skin is just so much lighter without makeup which is fine i don't really care but i needed a lighter concealer i'm glad that you found a shade that you like me too we were trying them all because it didn't really make sense how they, they were really lined in order. It was like something they said was lighter was actually darker than the one in front of it. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna start driving. Okay, I just wiped off my lip. Wait, there's a car. That was Fenty in the shade Zest. I don't know what this one was called. Oh, Zesty Bestie. Cute. But I wiped it off and then I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner. You should see how many lip liners I have in this bag. I'm not kidding. Okay, I think I need to talk. do a what. Remember when you had like 27 pillow talks? Yeah. And they were all sharpened down to the to the nubs. I use iconic nude now. Uh oh. If I did a what's in my bag, it would be hilarious. You should do it in a vlog. I will. This is gonna look awful. Not today's bag, because I only put like two things in it, but my bag with like my mommy stuff. Uh, I'm actually kind of, I feel like people will be like, you, that's all you bring. Cause Why? I'm, you I'm have very a lot? like, I don't like lugging around 10 diapers and white, a whole pack of wipes. And like, I just like bring what I need. Well, that's good. And I honestly, if we're running around, I like to like leave diapers in there. Yeah, so you, at least you have yeah, one, you don't have to have car. a big I don't need to thing. bring a whole big bag into the grocery store for 20 minutes to get some milk. Sometimes you think that people get paranoid. <gasps> Ew! Look. People get paranoid about what? what? This like, lip gloss like, is brown. It's like, brown? Where do you see brown? It looks like blood orange. It's because of that lip tint, and I was supposed to get the pink one. To make my lips raspberry and I, they're red. Christmas. That's you. That's your buckle. Oh yeah, that's me. I'm looking at you. I'm like, <laughs> can you shut it off? 
Can you please? Okay, so these are my lips. Why do I feel like I need something sweet? Get a go get a chestnut. You don't think you want one right now? I really do want one right now, but I just kind of want a decaf one. Get a decaf. It doesn't taste great. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, go get a chestnut and I'll get a peppermint tea. Okay, perfect. What did you okay, think of the but cookie? I got what? What did you think of our Halloween costume? I loved. It was so creative. I just thought of that one day. And that's something that everyone knows that's saying, you know? I was just gonna vlog, it's okay. So, I got the wrong shade of the this. Obviously we knew that going into it. I needed to get my type, but, and it's more of like a raspberry. And then I got two of the Fenty Heat. Also, I didn't know if they were plumping. Clearly they're plumping because the name of it is Heat. But I got Hot Cherry, which is like a red, which I thought would look good over the red lip stain that I just got. And then I also got it in Hot Chocolate Heat which is again the plumbing but it's more of like a brown which the girl that i saw on tiktok did like the raspberry lip stain and then charlotte tilbury iconic nude which i already use and have and then she did um the hot chocolate fenty gloss not the heat and my lips are like just said i'm gonna look like lisa Rinna. and then i also got this nars multiple it's called the multiple orgasm and i think it's like a a blush you can probably use it on your lips or just like multiple different ways obviously but yeah i can't believe how much my lips are on fire do you think that okay guys we just got home are you gonna what are you doing i'm gonna get these puppies and take my makeup off okay because i'll take my makeup off too and then we can just watch a movie or something. What time is she going to get home? Probably 5 30. Okay. Wait, guys, should I do? I'm going to do a what's in my bag. What? I'm going to do a what's in my bag really quick because I just want to show. Now that I was talking about it in the car, I was like, I do also want to clean it out a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag. This is the by far. I want to say it's called the amber bag and I am obsessed with it like I got this a few years ago when I use it so much it fits so much stuff you guys are about to see and it's just like a great everyday bag so I have my checkbook I'm like so old school I walk around with a checkbook and I have this receipt from Crate and Barrel when I went the other day and I bought Christmas decorations some of this stuff I need to throw away I have like trash Look what's in my bag. This, all this stuff is in my bag. Lippies. Yeah, oh, I have. found the blush? What? They no, found that blush. I got the, just like a random stick. Huh. This I got at Sephora. I already showed you guys, so these don't count. These right here. But, yeah, I have my checkbook, my receipt, a pack of gum, some headphones, tampons, this vitamin C pack, which I actually need to take this because I'm supposed to take vitamin C every single day because of my eye surgery. And then I have this cork, which I took from last night when we were drinking champagne. And I'm going to save it and bring it home to my cork pile because it was like, I don't know, meaningful. So I like to do that instead of just throwing it away. And then I have all of these lip products right here. Well, I have three lip liners. We have... This one by um, Persona in the shade Dusk. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So we have three lip liners. And then this Ilia Lip Balm in this shade right here. It's called Run Runway. And then I have an Ilia Lip Balm, just like a clear one. And then we have Road, Two Summer Fridays, lip balms just like little mini ones and then we have my favorite mullen and goats lip balm burt's bees dior wallet headband and guys this is the funniest part i ordered this off of amazon because i was gonna do a prank on graydon 
and it's a, a fake ring. It just came up on my Amazon one day and I was like, I just ordered it as a joke because it was like $20, but it's literally an oval engagement ring. Were you wearing it the whole time you were doing that? No. Oh. No, I just brought it out of my bag and I showed them what I got because it was just funny. Oh, more vitamin C. Packed it. And you should just wear <gasps> the ring. A memory card. You should wear the ring the whole time for a vlog one day. And see what people say. And just not say anything. And see if anyone, I mean, people will notice, but it would just be funny. I know, but and then, then I look like a psycho. And about it and you just keep waving the ring. People would be like, this girl's a literal psychopath. Yeah, that is everything. <laughs> that is what is in my bag. We just got all clean, you guys. Took off my makeup. And I've never felt so good. I just did a little body shower and I put on a set from a turn. And I'm literally just sitting on the couch uploading video. And I have so many vlogs that are going to be going up. I have this vlog I just posted. A vlog going up on Thursday. And then we will have this video. Wait. I honestly think I have like two vlogs in between this vlog and... The one I just posted, which I should probably go get my card holder actually upstairs. I need to go get the thing that I plug my card into my computer with because I really want to get organized with my footage because I do have a two-hour flight home tomorrow morning. And when I get back to Boston, tomorrow's Wednesday, I'm going to have appointments on Thursday. And I have work that I need to do on Thursday when I get back, so I'm not going to have that much time to edit and I'm gonna be vlogging everything that's happening. I have a really exciting appointment on Thursday and then it's Friday. What's happening Friday? Oh, I'm getting my kitchen table delivered. And then Saturday, I'm going to brunch with friends. Sunday, I have another brunch. Monday's my birthday. So I just feel like I need to be all caught up with editing in my videos and stuff because my birthday is coming up and I have like a lot of little celebrations and stuff that I'm doing. So I just want to have like all my videos done because I know that this weekend I am not gonna be editing. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done right now. It's only 5.40. So we're just kind of like chilling and stuff. But guys, <laughs> look at Miley and Mo sitting in front of the fire. Like this literally reminds me of Milo because this is how Milo lays and he lays in front of my fireplace. And he'll lay with his stomach like showing and I actually read somewhere that when animals do this it means that they feel very safe and secure <laughs> but this is like the cutest thing ever hi guys I'm editing this vlog right now and I really needed to end it off because I forgot to end it off and also I have a really funny story to tell you guys and my hair is all messed up right now but you guys are gonna be seeing this vlog while I'm uploading this video Monday oh the 21st on my birthday so yeah i'm uploading this video on monday the 21st and the next vlog you guys are going to see on wednesday the 23rd i have like a crazy schedule right now with posting so i'm like posting every other day right now so this video i have a video to go up tomorrow this one's going to go up on the 21st and then you guys will see my hair video on the 23rd because i got my hair cut i mean it's all messed up Right now, it's just like back in a clip, but I got like little bangs. So if you made it this far in the vlog and didn't X out, you have like a little sneak peek of my hair. And yeah, so I just wanted to also tell you guys something really funny about, I mean, it's not really funny. It was kind of annoying about my travel day home. So I got on the plane and it's only like a two hour flight from Nashville to Boston. And I was so excited. I was going to be home at like 12 o'clock on... Wednesday Wednesday Yeah, I think I came home Wednesday. I was supposed to be home at 12 o'clock and we were about Like 45 minutes away from Boston and we were getting ready to like land Obviously if we're like that close to being back and the pilot comes on the speaker and he's like Yeah, we actually have to land in New York City because the toilet on the plane is like not working and the toilets aren't able to flush so we're gonna stop in new york and we're gonna either fix it or we're gonna get a new plane so i'm like okay that's really 
weird like why don't we just land in boston but like whatever i obviously have like no control over what's going on so i was just like reading my book and minding my business so we land at jfk we're there for two hours we have to like get off the plane stay by the gate and we're literally there for two hours and then they didn't even get us a new plane they didn't even fix the problem and they come back on the speaker and they're like the flight that's going back to boston if you want to come on the plane like we would love to have you but just to let you know the toilets aren't going to be working and it's going to be like a 45 minute flight without bathrooms and there were people were like freaking out they were on my flight they were like oh my god like why didn't we just go back to begin with and why did we even have to stop and it was just like this really really long day to say the least and i got home at like 5 30 and i was exhausted because i was up at 6 30 in the morning getting like ready for my flight and making sure to get to the airport in time because the traffic in nashville is so bad even though jess only lives like 25 minutes from the airport it ended up taking me like over an hour in the morning and it was just crazy so that is that but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and enjoyed coming on my little trip to Nashville with me. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm really excited for just like everything that's coming up. Vlogmas is obviously coming up, so get excited about that because I know that I am. That means a day in the life vlog from me every single day of December. So make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram. All of that and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.